Okay guys, we're gonna do an oil change on this vehicle shortly and uh, I'll go over, I'm gonna go over the details with the um, oil filter for this and the 302, although this is the four and the 302 has shares the same oil filter as this vehicle. I'll show you guys that shortly. Uh, although the 2.8 shows a different oil filter for these for uh, then uh the 302 and the 2.3 liter i believe the 302 and 2.3 liter uh, oil filter can fit on the 2.3 as well i just don't have it anymore to, to prove that but i'll i'll show how it looks up close uh, in a second but yeah we're gonna swap this oil out and then um i'll pop another video i'm about to do i'm about to remove this bumper so be on the lookout for that video so let's uh Get this oil out of here. Let's change this oil out right now. And then um, remove that filter. All right, so we know this vehicle hasn't had an oil change in uh, 30 years. It's been sitting up. So look at that bolt. Half an inch fits directly on there, so put this pin right here. I'm trying to catch this oil. Let me clean them. Okay, hold on. All right, guys, I've made a mess. Uh, this is a seven and a half quart pan, and it's it ran over. It was too much oil in this car. Look at this. I gotta clean this up. I've made a mess. I'm gonna throw some dirt all over here and get this cleaned up, guys. Also, I got a container to put this in so I can go uh, take it to AutoZone and let them recycle this oil. But and it's black. This stuff is black. Look at this. Like mud. So I don't know how to oil. I had a new oil that's gonna perform in this engine. Hopefully it's not tapping uh, or knocking for that sense, but yeah, overfill oil. And I haven't changed the oil filter yet, so let me get this cleaned all up and I'll be back in. Okay, so this has about three quarts in it, uh, two and a half quarts of oil. This has none. We're gonna see how much was in there. We know it spilled a lot. We're gonna see how both of these fill up and see, and try to give an estimated guess on how much oil was in the, in the car. Okay, so it wasn't bad as I thought. It's about five and a half quarts in this car easily. Let's remove the filter and uh, see what we got. So I'll put this right here for the oil filter. Give me a filter wrench right here. I'm gonna undo this oil filter right now. Got some dirt under there. This is why I'm coming in at. Expecting this thing to be on here and not budge. So, uh, no spill, no spillage. So I guess that's why I'm draining the oil due to the orientation of this engine, draining the oil uh, also drains the filter. So that's why uh, you don't have to worry about a place to place the oil pan to get the filter off. It actually drain the oil out the filter too. So I'm gonna let that drain out until it stops dripping. Make sure everything's out of there. We're already on an angle with the trailer. So I'll lift it up a little bit more to make sure everything comes out. Um, let's try to go over this oil filter. This is a vintage 
Motorcraft oil filter. That's the model FL-1A. FL-1A. So if you get the Motorcraft oil filter, um, I guess this is the number. Probably still to, to date. I'll look up and do some research. It's a fairly large filter though for the B, a four-cylinder engine. Large filter. But we're gonna take it in and compare it to, let's compare it to the filter that's um, on here. You know what we also gonna do? We're gonna try to see how this fits on the, the 302 engine. Let's go look at that right now. Okay guys, so here's a 302. Four 302. Oil filter. So this is the oil filter up to 2.3 and it fits right on here perfectly. Perfect fit and you guys can see the oil mark. Look at it, it's perfect. Perfect fit. So this in the V8 use the same oil filter. The 2.8 liter that I had, uh, someone bought it from me. Uh, otherwise I would have tested it, but I'm I don't know, this probably fits on it as well, although it's coming up uh, as a different model number when you type in um, the oil filter uh, for that 2.8 Cologne engine. Here's the oil for both Mustangs, the 302 and the 2.3. See, both filters are the same. Both filters are the same. The 2.8 comes up as the S16. S16 fits that the SCP S16. Let's have a look. The rubber washer on this filter is the same diameter as the filter, the motorcraft filter. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Also, if you look on here, same thing, same setup. Same setup. Yes, yeah, look, these are the same diameter. Although this appears to be a little thick, and it's due to it's being uh, on that engine uh, for all those years, and of course it's flattened out. Whereas this is not so flat. Look at the difference. It's flattened out. That one. Okay, guys, this is the oil I'm using. This is regular conventional oil, 1030. Uh, I think the most important thing with these older engines, you want some with some zinc in it. Well, like for the Nova, this is what I use for the Nova. Just a high, con high zinc content oil. So uh, with these engines, I, I believe it's important to use zinc. So we're just gonna do a simple oil change with these three products. This
whenever I'm changing oil, I always pour a little in and inspect for leaks, and then I come back and pour of the remainder. It's a habit of mine I've developed throughout the years. Okay, guys. We're slowly but surely getting it together. Uh, pretty much done with this video. Uh, the next video will be um, radiator, and then makeshift gas can, and just start it to let it run for a minute before we install the gas tank. Just want to hear it run. So radiator, antifreeze, and um, we're going to start this thing up when I put a makeshift gas tank there and let it run for a while.